When I was drywalling the living quarters with my friend, I had to rush Minion to the vet, which meant my friend was here alone to finish up. He doesn't have much experience with a rotor zip, so his first cuts looked exactly like mine did when I started. I wanted to make a video of how to perfectly cut out boxes with a rotor zip, but now I'm gonna make a video on how to patch a box in case you messed up. If you have a box like this in your house that's already finished, you can do the same thing. You just have to scuff the paint up a little bit or otherwise prep it to be able to hold the spackle on. First, I gotta trim away anything that sticks out, any of this paper edge from the drywall, that's gotta go. And then I need to check around the box to make sure there's nothing else loose, like for example this corner. So I'll cut that out too. The drywall compound sticks well to the paper on the drywall, not the gypsum itself. So you might think this is all you have to do, but that'll crack and fall out. You have to use some kind of tape to bond it to the rest of the drywall, and I find it's best to usually just go around the whole box and feather it all the way out. Otherwise, you'll forever see that it was a patch. You can use oversized receptacle plates to cover up anything too.